Hey everyone, Chris from Lime Punch Forge. Today, I am supposed to be cleaning my garage, but something shiny happened, and here I am thinking about making wood steaks. Not the kind you eat, because well, that would have a lot of fiber in it, so not necessarily a bad thing. What I'm talking about is forming steaks, either wood or metal. So what I've done is I've set up piece of purple heartwood and I'm going to talk about how I form different parts of this in order to uh, form metal but before we begin where was I oh yeah right down here there's a like and subscribe so please hit that if you like the videos you're seeing and please send me a comment if there's a video you'd like to see if there's something you don't like you want to give me some feedback awesome I'm down with all of it so before I get distracted by something else shiny. Let's talk about forming sticks. So this one is wood. I've formed part of it here. You can see some of the lines. On this edge here, it's the ingrain. So we're looking at ingrain. I'm gonna take some of the hammers I use on a regular basis and I'm going to make some dents. Just dent the side of that wood. If you try to sell it after this, it will probably be half priced because it's all the dents. That was a bad joke. But what I'm doing is trying to create a groove for forming to occur. So when I take my metal, not this metal, but metal, and hit it, form it, I'll create this impression on the opposite side. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do. I'll take a couple of the different kind of hammers that I use. And what you can do is throw something. Let me find a different kind of hammer. And take his punch and just create divots. Different size punches, different size divots. And this is a really, really hard wood. Purple hard is awesome for forming sticks. But you can use two by fours. I used this one yesterday, drilled a hole made some edges right along in there and ended up making the uh, first part of the cherry blossom. So this is what I used before I realized I had all this. So that's what you could do. Uh, the other things you can do is any other type of scrap wood. In ingrained is best just because it's hard. And then in the vise, I like to have it sitting on the solid bottom part of the vise so that when I'm hammering, my block's not going all over the place. So you can also take a rasp. Make sure I'm on video here. Or other type of forming file. And make your own shapes. All the way around. Doesn't matter where it is, you can reposition it in the vise, sand it out. But what you're looking to do is create a depression underneath where you're going to hammer. So if your metal's flat and you hammer, you're going to end up with that depression on the opposite side. So you can do whatever you want in that. And then I will also take and you know drill a hole. Bam, hole drilled. That's going to allow you to form metal down into it. And then you can chamfer it or whatever different size holes whatever you want to do but this allows you to push that metal down in without necessarily taking off some of the different uh, texturing that's on it now before i get back to cleaning the garage i want to talk one more thing about metal steaks so not as tasty as wood steaks not nearly as tasty as real steaks but metal steaks are made from pretty much anything you can find if you're willing to polish and um, use them. So this old railroad spike, I polish the top and I'll use that for forming spoons. So it's a perfect interior or, uh, curve of a spoon. These ones were automotive punches or machinist punches that I heated up with a torch and then just bent and polished so that I can stick that in my vise and then form around. Here's another one. Takes a little bit of getting used to trying to get those lines and curves right but you can make yourself a pretty useful tool 
by just going down to the the Home Depot or the Lowe's and getting yourself some usually they're called locating punches it's like that and then I made that one too so you can use them two sides I can turn it over use it like this turn it over use it like that and essentially oh I forgot one I don't know if I showed this one or not I didn't want to leave them out but the same thing it's just a punch I took a torch I bent it um, and then polished out the inside so what I'll end up doing is I'll stick a piece of metal in there and anytime you hammer on a piece of metal like this you want to make sure your hammer is soft and if you do something softer like wood you want to make sure your hammer is hard so hard to soft soft to hard and that helps you not ruin your steak and it helps you form metal a little bit faster I'm not sure where I picked that up but that's what I kept on being hammered in my head somewhere along the lines um, yeah, that's about it. A little quick six minute video on making steaks. Just so you're aware, this is a precursor video to the forming of the Potter USA cherry blossom. I posted a picture of them the other day on the Potter People Facebook page. What's up, Potter People? And then, uh, yeah, so if you don't have it already, make yourself a steak. You get a couple uh, nice grooves in there, and that's going to help you when we're, we're doing the video for the uh, cherry blossom. So that's it. Something else shiny happened. I need to go. But I want to remind you, if you like what you see, right down here, see if I can get it right. There's a little red subscribe button. Log on to that. Hit that subscribe, and you'll be notified if a new video pops up if you hit that little bell button. Thank you. Have a great day, and appreciate you.